nice. Fresh air, so different. Oh my god. It was daddy's crutches. What do you mean, poof? What do you, you mean, smell poof? it? No. Hat it. <laughs> you smell nothing. It is. Luckily, because the winner went. What do you say? Come on, say? Santa, please, yeah? <laughs> Well, first of all, thank you everyone so much for your support. Thank we didn't actually expect to have as many subscribers as we do now. How many we have? Uh, we're on like 529, which is an amazing milestone. Without you guys, obviously this channel wouldn't be what it is. We promise to yeah. share more with you. So we'll keep the channel alive, basically, because it was kind of dying down. So what has happened? Why had we disappeared? What's, what's been going on? Editing problems, deaths in a family, surprises, milestones, family, travel, holidays, seasons, illnesses, challenges. You YouTubers out there will understand me. Basically, when I'm editing, I edit our footage on an external hard drive. It's just connected to my MacBook and I do bits and bobs like in between jobs in the house. And once in a while, I'll leave the laptop on the side and then Santi will come along and just pull out the cable, which means if you're in the midst of editing, you've damaged the file. So. Santi, Imani is supposed to be with Santi. Imani, can you make sure Santi comes away from here? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so that's that. It was just hours and hours of work on Final Cut that had just gone and I just gave up. Okay. We lost some work with the computer and we lost some friends and family. Yes, yeah, so we've had uh, two deaths in the family. One was a very close family friend, which we still consider family. And then we lost a relative. We just didn't feel that it was the right time to be uploading, filming, etc. Imani going to school? Yeah, Imani started school, compulsory education school. It's interesting because we didn't want to send Imani or our children for that matter to public school. We wanted to homeschool. We're not prepared enough. We were, yeah, we, had, we weren't prepared. And then also Imani started karate. And she progressed really well for four-year-olds especially and she recently got a new belt, a red belt. It's not really an illness, this is an injury but yes. Yeah, I uh, no. broke my fibula, hurt my ligaments, I dislocated my knee and everything had to be put back in place in the hospital which was quite painful and I had surgery, got some screws in so I'm now like half a robot, no half, quarter. Quarter robot. And it's great not being able to help the family and not being able to... Ah! Ah! The boy waits for me, please. Ah! I have said that I will break the other leg, you know. Oh, please, yeah. <laughs> if he tries it. I don't Listen, have I have three children now. It is not yeah, easy. Yeah, I do a lot with my hands. It is not easy. Yes, you do. Like, Rudy's kindly said to me, don't deal with everything yourself. Like, if, for example, there's veg to be chopped and peeled, Sandwiches big to missions. be buttered, big or missions. babies to be changed, men stalking or like tackers for to everything, be fed, or children to be spoken to. Yeah. Don't do it all yeah. on your own. Bring them to my corner of the Feel house. Feel like Professor Xavier. Professor what's it? Ex Xavier? 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 <laughs> Apart yeah. from the fact that Rudy's a quarter incapacitated, unvaccinated Santiago came out with some sort of virus that was quite worrying. Which developed into a near infection. And he was offered antibiotics and so many other things which we kindly declined because... Have we had a very disheartening moment which affected me mostly because as some of you may know that um, I ride a little Vespa. One day the owners of the location where I normally park stopped me and told me that they have CCT footage of something bad that happened to the bike. It then occurred to me that my battery was stolen from there. It happened to be on a day where I actually needed to use the bike. So it was a big inconvenience? It was a big inconvenience. I tried to figure out who the culprits were and one particular ASBO kid 
decided that not only would he take my battery but also take the cover from the bike anyway it happened it was a setback he was pretty, basically was trying to make lego with a bike trying, trying to rebuild a bike i guess <laughs> for yeah. different parts and he took watch him watch him watch him oh don't watch me <laughs> can we see the foot oh my god Um, we had my surprise birthday party. I'm not a big fan of surprises, but it was really, really amazing. Um, I wasn't expecting seeing so many people. Yes, greatest to you. It was lovely. When I thought all the surprises were done within a the night, then there was more. There is footage. Hopefully, you will see it. This was amazing. It was. It's not over yet. The party's just begun. Yes, it was. And you will understand exactly what I mean when I. My parents came from Brazil. They stayed with us for about six weeks. It was a great time. Me and my dad could do a lot of DIY improvements in the house. He did a bit of painting, which is something that I don't like much. We kind of spent really good time together, which was amazing. And then with them here, we could have a lie-in. We could spend more time, just the two of us, in the evenings. And the kids were well looked after, well fed. It was really important for us to have this time to recharge and... We went to Lisbon, we went to the Portuguese capital for about 10 days and my parents came with us. Because they came with us it was easy to enjoy a bit of the Lisbon nightlife as well as a couple. We could go out a couple of nights together which was really really good. I really enjoyed it and I think everyone loved it. So it wasn't all bad stuff that happened? No, not at all. A lot of great stuff happened to kind of take our minds away from the bad stuff. Instagram. Yes, yes, we started an Instagram, so whenever we're not posting for a little while, if hopefully we, yeah, if it happens, uh, hopefully it doesn't, but yeah, you can just keep up with us there. <laughs> but anyways, any questions you have, if we haven't fully answered, just please comment or drop us an email, and please go and check out this special documentary that took us a hell of a long time to put together. I was going to say one last thing. We've got so much footage of stuff that we wanted to share with you. And if you want to come home and edit for us, <laughs> we'll be really grateful. I mean, I will try my best to I'll do it, be. but basically don't be confused as to why there's certain things that are back in time.